the one thing I really like about Ubuntu is the fact that there is a flavor for anybody out there. If you're a multimedia enthusiast, as I am, you'll definitely want to check out Ubuntu Studio on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, I am a multimedia enthusiast and I love a lot of the programs that are out there that are free and open source for uh, editing video and audio. Now, I have been able to get a good number of my Windows programs running natively in Linux, but for those of you who have decided to just throw away all the Windows programs and just go with free and open source, Ubuntu Studio is a really nice operating system to have. Let's go ahead and have a look at this and you will see that the Ubuntu Studio 11.10 that was just released this week uses the XFCE user interface. Now this is a lightweight interface much like LXDE. Uh, notably to allow you to have more processing power for the applications that you are running rather than having a heavy desktop shell that's using uh, compositing and effects. You'll notice here that you have a default top bar uh, with a desktop switcher time and a few other little things up here. I also added a, a mixer control here for uh, but you can also add more controls if you wish. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just pick them all. And we have a number of different controls that we have added. Very helpful if you're doing mixing and that sort of thing. So we'll go ahead and close this. All right, and then uh, down here you have uh, you have a a nice little bar here that's very lightweight. You can um, minimize all your windows. You have a terminal emulator that you can easily access. You can access all of your files. You have a web browser here. This comes with Firefox pre-installed and so if you like Firefox this is a this is this is the one it comes with but of course you can go into the software center and get whatever browser that you like. You can also find applications that you have installed on your system. And then, of course, it looks like this is another menu for navigating around. Okay, very good. All right, let's have a look at the applications that this comes bundled with. In Accessories, you have a number of uh, programs that come standard with any Ubuntu distribution. In Graphics, you get Blender. You get the Dark Table photo workflow software, a document viewer, a GIP image editor, Inkscape, MyPaint, and a few other programs here. In internet, you have Firefox, Thunderbird Mail, and Transmission. Multimedia, you have a number of things here. You have Audacious, and you have Brad Zero for burning those discs, and of course you have access to your mixer and your pulse audio control here. In audio production, you have a whole bunch of different things, and I don't know what half of these things do because I have <laughs> I have my own Windows software running natively to handle my multimedia needs, and it's working quite well. But uh, you can see here, there's a number of things in the video production. I am surprised to see that it doesn't come with more video editors than the Open Shot video editor. Now, when I install this, I it uses a text-based installer. Note to the newbies out there, this does not have an easy graphical user interface. It's all text-based, so you have to read each screen carefully and make your decisions. Uh, and I did select to install everything on this, and I'm surprised it only gave us open shot video er editor. I was hoping to see Cinelara, maybe Caden Live, Lives, and a few other uh, video editors, but it just gave us open shot, which in my humble opinion is probably the best 
video editor that Linux has right now and it also has a subtitle editor. Okay, so you can see it has a number of programs. Also in Office, you only get a dictionary. So if you need an Office suite as well, you're going to need to go into your software center and get Open Office, or you're going to need to get LibreOffice. Personally, I'd say go with the LibreOffice one. I like that one the best. And then uh, there are a number of system tools here. Also, Wine comes pre-installed with this, but if you're going to try and run your Windows programs natively, please see my tutorial on Linux wine and vineyard because uh, in my opinion I feel that the vineyard is a great front end for uh, installing your programs under wine it did a really nice job it got 95 percent of all of my favorite Windows applications not games running under Linux so you definitely want to check that out all right, well, that's the quick, dry, and dirty cut of Ubuntu Studio. If you have any questions, please fill out the contact forms below. If you thought this review was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for watching.